Hello everyone and welcome to this week's newsletter. In addition to the newsletter this week, there have been another, a number of other communications that have been sent out to families that contain important information, including for year 12 students relating to vaccination. So I'd refer you to those for, um, for some, some additional important matters for this week. Bill Bryson is a travel writer and in his book Down Under, there's a lovely line where he's been given advice about how to avoid Australia's venomous snakes while bushwalking. He's told, most snakes don't want to hurt you. So if you're out in the bush and a snake comes along, just stop dead and let it slide over your shoes. He describes this as the least likely to be followed advice I had ever been given. The experts in coping with grief emphasise the benefits of returning to normality as quickly as possible following a tragedy. We could interpret this as similar to the advice given to Bill if we think that it means just go about your business and pretend that nothing happened. But of course, that's not what it means at all. And if it did, it would be right up there with the least likely to be followed advice because it's just not possible for us to do that. When understood correctly, what this advice really means is, well, it's about the therapeutic value of routine and the comfort of returning to what we know and what we can control. This week, we've been back in the virtual classroom with the soothing rhythm of the school day. Things aren't and will never be exactly as they were before, but we'll all be okay. There are no silver linings to the loss of a young life, but it has been a privilege to watch the support that people in this remarkable community have provided for each other. In saying that, I particularly note the way that our young people have looked out for each other. The college staff and leadership team have also felt enormously supported by the outpouring of appreciation and affirmation for the work that we're doing with our students. I'd also like to acknowledge the exceptional support our community has received from other schools and community organisations. In particular, we've welcomed the guidance provided by the panel of experts who make up the Geelong Youth Suicide Protocol Group, and in particular, the staff from Headspace. We are a community of faith, and at present, that faith is being sorely tested. In the face of grief and loss, it can be difficult for us to find God. In the last week, there have been many prayers for Jordan, his family, his friends, his community, and for each of us. I hope you might find some additional solace in the following poem called, I Looked for God's Face. I looked for God in darkness. I looked for God in daytime. I looked for God in the night. I saw the velvet blackness. I saw the clear, bright sky. I saw the people's faces. I saw them passing by. I saw them suffer, asking why. I saw them laugh and love and cry. I saw them live. I saw them die. I saw God's face. God bless everyone.